Glory to God. We thank God for giving me again this uh, wonderful moment, a uh, good opportunity to come and share uh, the Word of God. And uh, today, uh, God has laid in my heart to talk about the Holy Spirit, the guidance of the Holy Spirit, how important it is for every child of God. I need us to read in the book of um, uh, in the book of uh, uh, Acts, Acts, uh, in the book of Acts, huh? the Bible says uh, in Acts uh, chapter one. In this period, uh, Jesus, he was talking to uh, his disciples. He was talking to his disciples and uh, it was his last moment with his disciples. And he was promising them. He said, uh, uh, I'm going, but uh, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost uh, come upon you. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost come upon you. Then you are going to be my witness in Jerusalem, in uh, uh, Judea, and 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 Samaria. This is uh, this is what uh, Jesus said. You shall be my witness. Uh, you shall be my witness in Jerusalem in Samaria, I mean in Judea and Samaria. So um, it is uh, verse 8, but you shall receive power, ability, efficiency and might. I was trying to find it in the book of, uh, I mean to read the Amplified, that's why you see I was trying to, to flip a bit of uh, pages here. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witness in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Can you see that uh, this last moment Jesus was with his disciples on earth before he departed to the Father and he spoke. He gave this promise that the power is going to be upon you when the Holy Spirit descend upon you. It means when we have the Holy Spirit in us, we have power in us. What is the power for? The, the dunamis. What is it for? You know, it is the ability to make, uh, to to, to do the job, the ability to do something, that power. You see? The Bible says, when that power is upon us, we are going to be the witness. He said, you shall be my witness in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and the end of the earth. So he said so. So there is no way you have the Holy Spirit, then you are not a witness. If you have the Spirit of God, you automatically become a witness. From your home, you are a witness. Then you go to uh, uh, your neighbor, your witness, you witness. Then you, you, you go to the enemy, you witness. And you go to unknown people, you witness. So this is, you know, when you follow the order here, they are talking about Jerusalem, they are talking about the place where they grew up, the environment where they grew up. Then they are talking the old Judea because uh, uh, they, all the people surround, surrounded them. Now, they talk about Samaria. Samaria, during this period, you know, um, the Samaritans were not in good terms with uh, all the people from uh, 
from Judea. They were not in good time. So all the people from Judea, they look, they used to look down the people from Samaria. They say there is nothing good that can come from Samaria. But when you have the Holy Spirit in you, there is no way you are a child of God with the Holy Spirit. You have people you cannot talk to because they are your enemy, because you hate them. No, it can't be. It can't be. The guidance of the Holy Spirit is so factual in our lives. It's important. There is no way you lead Christianity, uh, Christian life without the Holy Spirit. So it is important to have the Holy Spirit. Now, in the book of John, in the book of John uh, uh, chapter uh, 16, John chapter 16, um, we read uh, from verse uh, 13, yes, verse 13 to uh, 15. The Bible reads, but then he, the spirit of truth, the truth giving spirit, comes he will guide you into all the truth the whole full truth for he will not speak his own message on his own authority but he will tell whatever he hears from the father he will give the message to uh, that has been given to him and he will announce and declare to you the things that are to come, the, that will happen in the future. He will honor and glorify me because he will take of what is mine and will reveal, declare, disclose, transmit it to you. 15. Everything that the Father has is mine. That is what I mean when I, I say I said that he, the Spirit, will take things that are mine and will reveal, declare or disclose or transmit it to you. Beloved, this is the truth of the Word of God. Here Jesus is talking, he is saying that uh, the spirit that is coming is the spirit of truth. The Holy Spirit is a truth-giving spirit. When it comes, it will guide. That's what the Bible says. It will guide us into the truth, the whole truth, full truth. For it will not speak on his own message that's what the word of god says so when you have the spirit of god the spirit of god is leading you is guiding you in the truth that's why a christian should be led by the spirit of god many of christians they have the spirit of god in them but the, st the spirit of god is not on their throne of life who is on the throne of your life? We have that self on the throne of life. Even though you have the Spirit, the Holy Spirit in you, but you are not given the Holy Spirit, the, your, the throne, to sit on the throne of your life. But the self is taking control. The self is in charge. You understand? So, it is important now to know, to, to develop, that relationship with the Holy Spirit, to be able to listen to the Holy Spirit, to be able to, to, to get when the Holy Spirit is talking to you. Because we cannot lead Christian life without the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. It's impossible. When we are living that kind of life, we are religious. It's only religious people who are not led by the Spirit of God or uh, carnal people. The carnal people. You know, you are living flesh. When I talk about flesh, I'm talking about uh, suke is leading you. I mean, your soul, your emotion, your feelings, and all this stuff. You know, 
we are not bashing, uh, banishing e emotion and feelings at all. We we are we are born with our feelings and our emotions, but we need to know how to harness our emotions or our feelings because of the spirit of God in us. We control, we control it. You understand? So it is important that we look at this fact that every child of God should be led by the Spirit of God. There is no way you can lead Christian life without the Spirit of God. Look at where the world is going today. So many things are happening and when you watch on the news, you watch the news and on TV, sometimes, you, you know, many people, they are losing hope. Many people, they are uh, living in fear. To Christians, I'm saying it again, the Holy Spirit will guide us into the truth. And the Holy Spirit is going to disclose what is hidden in the future. And when the Holy Spirit disclose what is hidden in the future, then we know how to go. We know how to stand. We know what to say. We cannot just be the church. We cannot just be Christians. No. We need to be guided into the truth. And the Bible says well, everything that the Spirit of God is speaking is from Jesus Christ. Remember Jesus, every time he was speaking, he said it's, it's not him. It, everything he was saying, it came from his Father. It is important for you now to begin to develop that relationship with the Holy Ghost. You develop the relationship with the Holy Spirit. It is vital for every child of God. We are living a very critical time. We are living a very difficult time. I'm talking to many people from this generation. I say, you know, when we're growing up, we're growing up, we were feeling safe to live in this world. There were not so much threats, so much uh, uncertainties like today, no. But now I thank God because I received him, Jesus Christ in my life as my personal Savior and Lord. And Jesus is leading me. And Jesus is, 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 is in my life. And this kind of life that a lot of things that we are seeing, you know, uh, uh, unless you have the Spirit of God. Because when you have the Spirit of God, you have power. And that power in you, you cannot fear anything. You cannot be scared of anything. That's the reason why we are supernatural people. You know, we are supernatural people because of the Holy Spirit in us. So, if you are not sure of the Holy Spirit in your life, this is the moment that you need to stand. You need to invite the Holy Spirit in your life. You need to call upon the Spirit of God to guide you, to lead you, you know, to take charge of your life. It's very important. It's very important. Beloved, you are watching me. You are a child of God. You are a believer. It is not enough just to be a believer. It is not enough just to be a Christian. But the most important thing is to be led by the Spirit of God. Remember, the Bible says, you shall, give, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit descend upon. Power in us the ability to move, the ability to do, the ability to make. No matter the situation you are going through, you have the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God is powerful. And God loves us. He loves us. That's why He could not leave us without His Spirit. You know? Um, I need us to read uh, in the book of uh, Proverbs, um, Proverbs uh, uh, chapter 9, uh, 
chapter 9 uh, verse 10 because I was saying that uh, uh, you know uh, when the Spirit of God is in us it changes our attitude it changes our behavior it changes there is total transformation and uh, lack of submitting to the Holy Spirit mm, lead us to misbehave or you know to do all sort of things but because you see here when we read in the in the in the book of of John here they are saying that he is gonna glorify God he's gonna glorify Jesus so now everything that you are doing if Jesus is not glorified this is not from the Holy Spirit now, when the Holy Spirit is you, even your behavior will glorify. When you speak up, God is glorified. Anything that you do, God is glorified. Anything, God is glorified. The character is sharpened. It takes a form. You become, uh, you know, a different person from the people uh, the person you used to be when you were born completely transformed because of the Holy Spirit that's the importance of submitting you know I always say you know the Spirit in you can tell you no 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 this is not good don't, don't violate that voice when the Spirit of God is talking to you it is not the conscience I'm not talking about the conscience but I, I'm talking about the Holy Spirit need to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit and to follow the voice of the Holy Spirit and to you know you need to develop it and uh, uh, you invite the Holy Spirit in your life and you, you're gonna understand so the Bible says in the first 10 uh, of the proverb uh, chapter 9 uh, the Bible uh, the Bible says uh, the reverent and worshipful fear of the Lord is the beginning is the beginning the chief and choice part of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy one is insight and understanding is insight and understanding i like my version my french version says uh, it is the science of of the saints you know see the fear of god the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One to know God. This is what the, my version is talking about, the science. So when you fear God is the beginning of wisdom, it means this is what i'm talking about here now the way you do things the way you say things the way you know everything is completely changed because wisdom is just that ability that earn us to implement what they know that's wisdom the fear of god will make you go a certain way the fear of god will make you speak a certain way the fear of god will make you see a certain way You see then he said to know God to know God the only one is insight and understanding so how do you know God without the Holy Spirit because I say that everything that the Holy Spirit is speaking is from God he takes it from Jesus from the depth of God and transmit it and reveal it display it that's the importance of having the Holy Spirit beloved I'm reaching the end of uh, our message and uh, do you do you let the spirit leading you i know you have the spirit of god in you but have you left your throne to the holy spirit to guide you to lead you 
What type of Christian are you? What type of believer are you? If you don't have the Spirit of God, that's what the Bible says, you don't have the Spirit of God, you don't belong to God, you're not a child of God. So, we are giving you an opportunity to look into yourself and to try to do something. To invite the Holy Spirit. Decide today to be led by the Spirit of God. Decide today to be led by the Spirit of God. Set apart your emotions. Let the Spirit of God guide you. And you are going to glorify God. I'm going to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus. I glorify your name for the word that you've laid in my heart to share with your people. The most important thing that I've shared today is to be led by the Spirit of God. Father, let my brother, let my sister take that decision to take heed to the voice of the Holy Spirit, to yield to the Holy Spirit. Because without your Spirit, we are failure. Without your Holy Spirit, we are useless. God, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit, the wonderful gift that makes us to be supernatural, that makes us to be glorious. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. We thank God. Hallelujah.